Hi, Todd Vandenberg here, Vandenberg Capital Management with the Uncommon Sense Update. <music> Greetings and thanks for watching. It's been a couple of weeks uh, since we've done an update and um, so much has changed here in Northern California with the devastating wildfires that uh, ran through Sonoma County. Um, uh, our office and our home were uh, thankfully uh, uh, left unaffected, but so many thousands of other people were not as fortunate as we were. Um, but during that time, you know, the stock market's still rolling, so, so we're here watching uh, people's investments and watching the markets, and so that's what this week's update is about. So I've been watching the news lately, and with the stock market run up the past uh, couple of weeks, I mean, it's been unbelievable. Uh, the Dow is up over 25 or 2.44% uh, in the last two weeks. Um, the S&P is up about 1.04, uh, but still, uh, you know, amazing performance for a two-week period of time. So what we're hearing now uh, is really a lot of people talking about how the markets are overvalued, how there's, you know, just so much danger that the markets could collapse at any time. And what we want to talk about today is the fact that, well, that's not really a guarantee and it's certainly not uh, as overvalued as it was during, say, the dot-com bubble. So uh, if you look at what is going on in the markets right now, you know, and, and look at a thing called price-to-earnings ratio, it's just one um, uh, a metric used to value the stock market's uh, value price uh, to the earnings that these companies are generating. And when you look at where the price to earnings ratio of the S&P 500 is, what you see is that it's trading at right about the 30 year historic average. Now, some of you that are more uh, experienced are saying, well, Todd, why are you using only the last 30 years? And you know, you can use the last 50 years or the last 60 years, but the world is basically a different place today than it was 60 years ago. So when looking at these kinds of things, we try to look at more relevant data. So uh, as you look at the price to earnings ratio uh, of the S&P 500 over the last 30 years, we're trading right at about the historic average. So that in and of itself doesn't mean that we're overvalued. All it, all it means is that over the last 30 years, you know, sometimes it was greater than where we are now and sometimes it was lower than where we are now. So that's really important to, to, to think about when you're hearing people talk about how overvalued we are. Um, something else that's been coming out recently is, you know, the S&P or you know, the stock market is basically reporting, reporting earnings right now. And with only 17% of the companies in the S&P 500 reporting, 73% of them have beat analyst expectations. And that, that's really important because corporate earnings drive, in most cases, stock market growth. Um, what we're also hearing uh, from some of the experts is, you know, if things like uh, corporate tax reform or personal tax reform don't happen, if Congress can't get that done, that the stock market is really overvalued. And I would argue that if corporate tax rates, given current earnings, uh, if corporate tax rates uh, actually uh, are reduced, as is the plan, uh, the stock market is not significantly overvalued. Again, it's valued at about the historic average. It would be, in our view, incredibly undervalued given uh, the amount of additional profit that companies would be generating. So this is all, uh, there's, there's a lot of data here, but what we're trying to help people see is that the stock market is not, you know, uh, going crazy. Yes, we've had some really significant returns. If you just look at, you know, the, the bottom of the market in March of 2009, but uh, when you look at it over a longer period of time, we're right in historic averages, we're not completely uh, overblown, and it's all based upon earnings, something that was not true, as we said, during the dot-com bubble. So uh, that's uh, the update for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be sending out another one every week, and uh, if, you, if you like it, uh, please uh, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. That was your update.